No, wait, stop. I'm trying. Three, two, one. Welcome back to Long Awaited Part 3 Electric Go Kart Build. In this video, I'll be working on the throttle, cable management, tying up some loose ends, and hopefully, I'll get some riding videos to the end. This thing is really scary fast, and hopefully, you guys enjoy it. So, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when Part 4 comes out. Left, complete the entire thing, just put the throttle on and finish up this segment right here. And these are the wires, just gotta like clean them up a little bit, and then I'll put them back on and do the first test for the other All right, well, that was the first test and all the limits are set to like 10% power, 10% RPM limit, 10% torque. All the things are turned out all the way. And this one, right, the acceleration is probably already better than my old go-kart. So that's kind of insane. But yeah, so I wired the throttle up, you know, just three wires right there. And also has a screen for voltage, which I'm gonna have to figure out how to do. And I'll probably mount it somewhere like right there. And then also, this is like a key switch, you know? So it'll be a key, and that's just for main power. And so if with that, that, you won't be able to turn it on at all. And then all I really have left to do is figure out how to power the main contactor, because right now I have these lead acid batteries up here just powering the main contactor. But after I figure out how to do that, basically it's done, and then I'm just gonna have to clean it up a little bit and manage the wires. All right, so that was the first test basically and um i didn't know this but you had to you have to connect two to power off the j2 port and then also have your contactor running so that confused me i thought <laughs> like my controller was broken or something but yeah i'm gonna figure out why and for that and then i mean it works so psh, test should be coming pretty soon uh,
All right, so to hook up the contactor, I'm gonna use um, this switch, which is, I'm just gonna use for forward and reverse. And then I just, I'm gonna use this as a main switch, the on and off switch, turn the coils on the contactor. It's just from like old computer power supply, so. switch right here this will turn on the contactor and this will decide if you're going forward or backward um so kind of bad news when i was just testing out the new circuit it the circuit worked fine but then this contactor which i bought and it's supposed to be like a reversing contactor that's like 500 amps but my god, I was like smaller than I expected and stuff. So I kind of like expected it to fail, but yeah, it failed. And I'm gonna open it up and see if I can fix it. I don't know. But all right, yeah. So I took apart the the, the I took apart the contactor, and this is this is what the coils look like. So obviously that's not good. Um, I mean, I could probably just rewind them. So I'm probably gonna try that. This one is still fine, as you can see, but. This one is completely fried. Yeah. All right, so this is the original coil that was in the contactor. I'm running a higher voltage amps at a higher voltage 12 volt coil into a 80 volt coil. 30, 38 gauge wire, 0.8 amps on 80 volts, 50 amps or something, this wire. So the contactor situation is getting pretty annoying at this point and this one is just i i rewound it again and one the forward side of it just burnt up so i just went ahead and ordered this one and this is a 400 amp 72 volt one so this one actually should work and it won't break but just like the size of like the terminals themselves just like show how much better this one is so i'm just i'm just going to be done with reverse and i'm just going to do straight up forward and nothing else. So yeah, I'm just gonna install that now. All right, so I finally got this contactor in right here and it, it works, I just tested it. So I'm just gonna try and clean it up a little bit more and then take it down from the stand and do it a final another test run all right to get the throttle and the key switch and all the contactor wires mounted i'm gonna make this i'm gonna like take this plate right here and i'm gonna mount it like right about there so then i can drill the holes and make like the key switch and all the other switches go right there under the steering wheel which is a pretty good spot <laughs>
Alright, so for the throttle, this is what I figured out. Um, I kind of just drilled a hole right there through this part of the throttle and made it so that whenever you do the, pull the throttle, that's what just happens. But I have to figure out a return spring or something because this one isn't strong enough. But. doesn't have enough strong enough spring to return the throttle the whole way. Fresh this on off switch. It doesn't work, so I'm gonna swap it out for this one. And hopefully the whole system works then. So this is what I decided to do for the battery boxes. I just, I I was gonna screw the bottom part to that and the top part put screw holes in there. But honestly, it was just easier to put these two straps on. And that side, I haven't gotten straps for yet. I just have tape there. So, I mean, yeah, I kind of like the look anyway of the battery boxes with straps on it. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I have a hole there for these balancing wires that are on the red and then throttle cable and everything else that goes to the dash right here is in that black one. And then the two main leads, one goes there for positive, and the other one, so I can get them in series, goes under the seat, goes under the seat right there, and then up to here, into this one. And then also there's a hole right there for the charger, which just pulls out right there. And then, yeah, so that's the cable management, kind of under the seat, but it's pretty neat, honestly. Dude, that one's like so much more aerodynamic, I feel like. It's like you're laid back more. Alright. Oh my gosh, this one's so soft. <laughs> Alright, pick a direction. I don't, know, I don't know, Kevin. These motors are actually pretty good. Yeah, no, it's good. It's top end. It's pretty fast. I like pulling a, like a G or two in a corner. Have you done that? Like yeah. turn going really fast. Yeah. It's so fun. That one you pretty much slide out. Yo.
Oh shit, wait, what's your voltage at? What? What's your voltage? 38. Alright, you're still good. What? It's a uh, 311, you wanna go back? Yeah. Alright. Oh, you wanna follow me? Yeah. Alright, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Alright, 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 you're good.